the weekend of revival. This is the weekend of re res resuscitation. This is the weekend of restoration. Let's appreciate him. Let's adore his holy name because he's able and more than able to do exceedingly, even above that which we can ever ask or think tonight. Let's begin to lift up the name of the Lord on high. Let's begin to adore his holy name. Let's say, Father, we worship you. Father, we exalt you. Father, we give you glory because you can, you have done marvelous things for us in time past you are doing it again and you are able and more than able to do even more than you can ever ask or think of be thou glorified lord in jesus precious mighty name we have prayed amen tonight we are asking god for his visitation at this weekend revival and is able to visit us and you unite your voice with mine tonight as we are asking for his visitation we just need his visitation. It is his visitation that can make a difference in our work with him. It is his visitation that can make a difference in, our, in, in the life of every participant. We want his visitation. We don't just want it to be a routine program. We want his visitation that will leave a remarkable, that will leave a remarkable experience for the young, for the adult, for, for the young, for the old and young. And we are trusting him that so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Visit us. Father, visit us, visit us, Father, visit us, as you visited the men of old with your mighty power. Father, visit us, visit us, visit us, Father, visit us, visit us, visit us, Father, visit us, as you visited the man of with your mighty presence father visit us yes as he visited the earlier apostles when they were gathered together you no know, those after resurrection they were behind closed doors but then at the mighty rushing wind at the sound of the mighty rushing wind there was a rekindling there was a revival in their midst those that were hiding behind closed doors suddenly they were bold enough to defend the cause of the gospel oh yes we want to ask god Hold on, visit all this weekend. Let this weekend be a weekend of reawakening, reawakening of souls that are slumbering, with reawakening of re of awareness of God's presence, awareness of the fear of God. Reawakening. Let it be a weekend of salvation, a weekend of emancipation, a weekend of restoration, a weekend of uplifting. That this soul. Sh shall it be let's ask god for his visitation let's begin to ask god for his visitation as i invite our first prayer leader uh, to take over now he will be focusing on divine visitation we need his visitation we need his visitation holy father visit us with your power visit us with your presence we need you in our midst this weekend glorify yourself and so shall it be in the name of jesus over to you our first prayer leader Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, good evening, everyone. Let's begin to thank God. Let's continue to appreciate him for his faithfulness, for his loving kindness, for his tender mercy. Father, we appreciate you for this moment once again. Appreciate you. We commit the you. service unto your only Father, we pray. Father, this prayer section, we commit it unto your holy Father, Father, we pray that you answered our prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the word of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to pray from um, the book of Job, chapter 10, verse 12. It reads, Thou hast granted me life and favor, and thy visitation has preserved my spirit. We are going to thank God because in this revival program, Tagged Ignite, God is going to visit us um, with new life and favor. Amen. Amen. Let's open our mouth and continue Father, to believe that in Father, this coming program, revival program, because we believe, 
we are going to you visit us with have new life. Worse than you that you are going to visit us with new life and favor. That our life will be renewed. That our life will be renewed. Thank you, Father. We will be renewed. Our life will be renewed. Our inner mind will be strengthened in the mighty name of Jesus. That everything that is not of you in our life. Every dross, Father, you will take away. You will, you will purify us again. In the mighty name of the Lord, this program has ignited. A new fire will be rekindled in us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are going to thank the Lord because this day is going to fill us up by, with his redemptive power. Souls will be saved. He's going to save every soul that is yet to be saved. Father, we so pray, we thank you that souls will be saved. You, of life. you will visit us with your power in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, because you will bestow on us life, favor, and you will preserve, you will preserve our spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray that this program tag ignite. So Every life that we be matter. under this ministration, oh, we live renewed, we, we live refreshed in the mighty name of Jesus. Through this refreshed. program, it every is. weary heart will be strengthened in the mighty name of Jesus and every backslider will be restored in the mighty name of Jesus as many that are sanctified Father you will baptize them with the Holy Ghost baptism in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in, in your word that in the day of thy power the people will be willing. Father we pray that in this program chat ignite there will be willingness for people to yield the their life unto you. To in the mighty name of Jesus. Them. Since the, the, the beginning of um, COVID, there's be, there's, that has been coldness in the church. The church needs the revival. Father, we pray that in this program, you will visit us, Lord. You will revive us, Lord. You will revive our spirit, Lord. Father, we will continue to test for you more than never before. Even after this program, Lord, our life will be preserved. Our life will be you will strengthen us, Lord. Every zeal that has died, Father, we pray that you renew our zeal for you. You will renew our love for you in the mighty name of Jesus. As many as are weary in spirit, Lord, Father, as many as their 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 their, their fire is been is 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 dying. Father, you will rekindle our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's continue to pray that. Let's pray. Let's pray that in this in, in this revival that ignite, that our life will never remain the same. In the mighty name of Jesus, that at the word of God is coming forth, Lord. That it will have free course in our means. In the mighty name of Jesus, it's going to change us from inside out. In the mighty name of Jesus, that ancient word we have. Free course in our midst in the mighty name of Jesus. Our life will, renew, will be renewed in the mighty name of Jesus, and our life will be preserved in the mighty name of Jesus. As many as are coming for this program, Lord, none of us will live the same way we came in the mighty name of Jesus. That if the minister that you are going to use, Lord. You will visit them. That word, that rhema word that each and every life need, Lord. Father, you there will there will, there will, there will, there will be the divine utterance in the mighty name of Jesus. There will be divine utterance, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's commit every minister that the Lord will be using unto the hands of the Lord, that there will be utterance, that the Lord will visit each and every one of them, in the mighty name of that, the power, the power, the power that they need, Lord, that the Lord will grant it unto them, in the mighty name of Jesus, let's commit all the choir that will be ministering, in this program unto the hands of the Lord, that every of their ministration, Lord, the Lord will take over, there will be a divine visitation like never before that we've not even experienced in our church. This time around, that the Lord will visit us by his mercy in the mighty name of Jesus, that every life will be touched, every life will be renewed, every life will be touched and renewed, and every love that has died will be rekindled for him in the mighty name of Jesus, that as the word is coming forth, Lord, Father, we pray that we will take it in 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Ancient word ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come with open heart, oh lady, ancient word in part. Let us pray that as the word is coming, that the Lord, the Lord will make the word have impact in our life. There will be a visitation that every act will be willing to yield. Will be willing to yield to, to, the, to the Lord's calling in the mighty name of Jesus. Every act will be willing. Will be willing. There will be willingness in the mighty name of Jesus. There will be willingness to do his will in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to pray that in every area that every one of us are struggling that the Lord will visit us in the mighty name of Jesus. A lot is going on. Every one of us, we have uh, our different challenges that every challenge in this program, Father, will visit each and every one of us at the point of our need in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> Father, we thank you. We appreciate you because we know you are going to visit us by your power. In this program, everyone we live, we lived we will live restored in the mighty name of Jesus. We will live refreshed in the mighty name of Jesus. And every of our life that you will touch, Father, you will preserve them till your coming in the mighty name of Jesus. You will preserve till your coming in the mighty name of Jesus. The word will not take us away from you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray that there will be a divine intervention in this program. Father, we pray that every soul will be touched in the mighty name of Jesus. And every one of us that you touch, Father, you preserve us in the mighty name of Jesus. You preserve our soul till you're coming in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's continue to thank God. Let's appreciate him, Lord. Father, we thank you. We appreciate you because Father. no, that we are going to re receive your visitation. We know that everything that is burdening each and every one of us, Father. We know that you are going to you, you, are, you are going to breathe the breath of life in us in the mighty name of Jesus. And our life will never remain the same again in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus precious mighty, mighty name. name. We are praying. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Ma. Just like our sister has read, new life and favor and say we preserve our spirit you know there are many contending factors many contending forces that is no student that that is fighting the believers this day trying to blow up their light and guess what some lighter some candles have already lost that light and that's why the next session the next phase is all about restoration restoration but of lost glory restoration of lost passion restoration of lost zeal restoration of every you no know, of that of that zest to serve the lord to do the will of god we want to talk with this weekend will be a time to reignite and he has like our sister read in Luke 10 verse 12 he said the lord will preserve our spirit because they are the wind is blowing right left and center this and the plan and the strategy of the enemy is to is just to quench the fire but the lord has promised as our sister read he said he will preserve our spirit but now at this juncture we want to pray for the restoration for those whose light has even gone out completely whose light that there will be a recognition and so shall it be in the name of jesus so i will call on our next uh prayer leader to to take over from here as we, she leads us into the hour of restoration. Over to you. Amen. Just still Amen. staying um, on that same line of prayer, we're praying for divine restoration of lost glory, even during this weekend program of Ignite. The enemy, we know his tactic is to come to steal, to kill, and destroy. And unfortunately, he has come and he has shut down the light, shut out the zeal, the passion of many in the church where they're no longer pursuing the Lord. They have forgotten their first love. That's why we're going to pray this very moment and ask the Lord that even during this weekend program, that the Lord will restore 
restore every lost glory in Amen. the heart of any individual. Let's pray and ask the Lord in the lives of all our families, in the lives of all those who are going to be in attendance, where their zeal is no longer as it used to be, where the fire upon their altar is no longer burning as it used to be, that the Lord will restore it. There will be revival in the Thank name of Jesus. Jesus. That is the prayer that the Lord will from his fire heaven. Our God is a consuming fire. He is the one that is able to sustain our hearts from burning a flame till we see him on that last day. Let's pray it out the that the fire of the Almighty God will be so palpable, will be so tangible, even as we gather, and it will set the hearts of people on fire in the name of Jesus. Where there has been coldness, where there has been lethargy, where there has been weakness, where there has been lack of interest, where where people no longer look at what the GS said today, where there's no longer that prayer fi fire, where there's no longer the towering in the place of prayer, where there's no longer hunger and thirst after righteousness, where there's no longer the desire to for the will of God and pursuing holiness and righteousness, that in this weekend, the Lord will restore that passion that has been lost in the name of Jesus. As we present our hearts before the Lord, as we're present, that the power of the Lord will be so palpable, where prayer has has become of no interest, where we no longer study the word of God, where we no longer rightly divide the word of truth, where we no longer follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord, that this weekend there will be a realignment. Let's pray that, oh God, realign your people where we have deviated from the straight and narrow way, where we have deviated from the path that we need to be on, walking towards heaven, where we have lost focus, where we have been distracted, where the thorns of this life has choked us, ah, where we have been choked by the things, the distractions of this life, that the Lord God in this weekend, there will be a purging, that the fire from heaven will fall and it will purge all the distractions, all the shaft. I hope we are praying. I hope we are begging the Lord that God start with me, not my brother, not my sister, start with me. And Lord, let that fire start spread like white wildfire. Let this be a ripple. If the Lord starts with you, your family will be on fire. If the Lord starts with me, my church, my community will burn in the name of Jesus. Oh, let's present ourselves before the Lord. Present our local church before the Lord and say, oh God, restore your love glory. This is not how it should be. We should be more passionate. We should be more encouraged. The zeal of our fathers should consume us. Let's Let's pray and ask the Lord that, oh God, this weekend, let it be a resetting. Oh, let Jesus be revealed. Let Jesus be revealed. For he said, if I be lifted, I will draw all men unto me. That let Jesus be revealed in your midst. And let him draw men to himself. Draw men to their first love. Let there be a rekindling. Let there be a refiring. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 57 verse 15 says, For thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contract one. This is the Lord speaking, saying, I dwell in the high and, law and holy place. And what does he promise to do? He's promised to revive the heart of the humble and revive the heart of the contract. I want us to take this to the Lord in prayer and say, oh God, we come, you cannot come to God in pride. We want to come to the Lord and say, Lord, in all humility, we come with a broken spirit and a contract heart. Revive us. We speak not the signs as we used to. Oh Lord, there's dryness in our midst. People don't want to pray. We no longer have the passion for the things of God. Our hearts are not burning anymore for the Lord. We've lost the zeal for kingdom service. There's no passion. There's no fire anymore. Lord, we come with humility. We come in ashes and sackcloth. We come in repentance. We come in brokenness. And we pray and ask, oh God, that you revive us. It's in your word. It's your promise. 
this. Will thou not revive us again so that thy people might rejoice in thee? Father God, we pray that you revive us, oh God. Revive us, oh God. We are tired of this level. We are tired of mediocrity. We are tired of living at the status quo. I want everything you have for me. Lord, as your church, we want to possess everything you have for us. We want our church to be the place where God dwells. We want our place to be a place of tangible fire. Lord, every heart. Lord, start with the children. Then go to the young youths, Lord God. And then go to the young adults. Go to our men. Go to our women. Go to the elders, Lord. And set every heart on fire. Let every heart the flame. Catch the flame, oh God. Something that we will not recover from. Something that we will remember for the rest of our lives. Let this weekend be a landmark, oh God. Let this weekend be something. Let something so distinct and so unique happen in our lives that we will not recover from. That we will look back and say, truly the Lord visited us. Truly we enjoyed revival. Truly the Lord met us. In the name of Jesus, my God and my Father, we're praying and asking that God, you will meet us as individuals. You will meet everyone, everyone that steps into that space, anyone that joins virtually, oh God, Lord, that there will be a rekindling. There will be a fire, Lord, upon our hearts. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we present our altar before you. We ask, oh God, let the fire fall. Let the fire fall this weekend, oh God, as the word of God is coming forth through your ministers, oh God. Let hearts be convicted. Let hearts be pierced and broken. Let them come to their knees in repentance, in deep-seated conviction, oh God. And Lord, let the fire fall. Let there be conviction of sin. Let there be repentance. Let there be a returning back. Let there be a restoration. Let there be refreshment. Let there be revival, oh God. Lord, where our prayer altars have grown old, where we have lost interest in prayer, where we no longer tell others about Jesus, where we no longer evangelize, where we no longer study the word, where we no longer dig deep in the things of God. Lord, we ask for a revival. We ask for a returning back. We ask for a rekindling, oh God. Will thou not revive us again? Will thou not revive us again? Will thou not revive us again? Lord, this is our cry. This is our plea. This is our plea. We don't want to remain the same way. We don't want to remain in mediocrity. We don't want to remain the same way we don't want to remain the same Lord, we are your church. Build your church, oh God. Strengthen the arms of your church. Lurch the arms of the pillars. Strengthen the fathers in our church. Strengthen the mothers in our church. Strengthen the young men, oh God. We need, where are the men of valor? Where are the men of courage? Where are the Joshua's? Where are the Deborah's? Oh God, raise them up people of this program. This weekend, oh God, raise up the Joshua's. This weekend, oh God, raise up the Deborah's. Oh God, this weekend, oh God, raise up the Esthers, oh God, raise up the Josephs, oh God, from our young people, oh God, who are convicted of things of righteousness, who are rooted and grounded in righteousness. Raise us up from this weekend, oh God. Where are the men of Ephraim? Where are the Gideons? Where are the Jephthahs, oh God, who will stand at the enemy gate and contend for our righteousness? Lord, this weekend, do it. This weekend, do it. Oh God, visit the Church, visit the DMV area, oh God. Let there be something that happens that will ripple throughout the whole United States. Oh God, we are in the center. Lord Father, visit us. We pray and we ask, oh God, raise up our young people, raise up our young people, revive our adults, oh God. Visit every part of the church, oh God. This we can ignite us, ignite us, oh God. We don't just want programs after programs, we don't just want events after events. We don't just want meetings are meeting and there's nothing to show. Are we not tired? Nothing to show. Ah, no way. No way, oh God. This weekend, you have to visit us. Lord, we are begging. It will not just be another calendar event. We don't want to just be accumulating programs. Oh, we had recover. Yes, the minister came. Hallelujah. Well, what is there to show for it? No, we want something tangible. Something tangible. Something palpable. In the name of Jesus, it will not just go on as usual. Let the fire fall. 
you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. It will not just be a regular event. It will not just be a regular event. We take authority and we ask that truly your fire will fall. Truly your fire will fall. The flame of heaven, the dew of heaven to come and bring refreshment. Oh God, where our families, oh Lord, are struggling, are suffering. Let the fire of the Lord come down. Oh Lord, let the hearts of the people be revived. Oh, the children, oh God, visit them. The youths, oh God, where the age is drawing them away. The last the spirit of the last days is drawing them away. Lord, bring them back. Let there be turning around. Let there be salvation, oh God. Let there be encounters with Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, let us pray that the name of the Lord Jesus will be lifted high. Jesus will be revealed this weekend. Jesus will be revealed. Our Savior, our sanctifier. Jesus will be revealed this weekend. Everyone will behold Jesus. And when we behold Jesus, you can never remember the same. Lord, as we behold Jesus, as we behold Jesus, our lives will be touched. Our lives will be transformed. Jesus, we want to see you. Oh, we want to see you. May we see you. Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Thank you so much, sister. Now, when our sister was leading the prayer, she was talking about alignment. We want, and she said, God should visit us and go visit us this weekend in Jesus name. As she was leading the prayer, I was just catching a new inspiration. When it, she talked about alignment and divine visitation, you know, when you have a router in your house, just like every one of us, we have a router. We have a router in our house. But if something tamper with the power supply of that router, no matter how sharp your electronic device is, it will not be able to pick the signal from that router. But then we want to pray for that re for the restoration of the, of the power of the spirit that will bring an alignment. Even with the router, of course, even if once some people come, you still need to give them password to either to the phone or to the laptop before they can access the band or before they can have access to the internet, uh, the frequency of the internet from your router. But come to think of it, if you travel with a phone, with your phone to another country, especially with this new set of phones, to another country that is on a different time zone, whether you like without you, without you consciously changing the time of your phone, your phone comes into alignment with the time zone of that environment, of that new place that is on a different time zone. We want to ask for the power of God that we, whether people like it consciously or unconsciously, we align their soul, we change their timing, we change their reasoning to align with the will of God. We want to invite the presence of God into the territory of our church. 4915 Sergeant Road. We want to invite the presence of God in so much as people come in, whether consciously or unconsciously, their spirit will begin to align with the move of the spirit in our church. Let the power of the Lord come down. Let the power of the Lord come down. Let the power of the Lord from heaven come down. Let the power of the Lord come down. Let it come down. Let the power of the Lord come down. Let the power of the Lord come down. Let the power of the Lord from heaven come down let the power of the lord come down we are going to pray let your power come down saturate the territory of our job with your power in so much that the time zone the frequency of power in that place will make every living soul that comes there to align with divine precepts to align with kingdom demands to align with kingdom standards to align with the move of the spirit in the name of jesus as people come there there will be 
a spiritual force, a spiritual force that overpowers the physical weakness. In the name of Jesus, as people come in, as people come in, they will be under the influence of the Holy Spirit. The disciples of Christ were where they were in the upper room when people that were around, when they saw them initially, they were making fun of them. But when the word of God began to move with power from the mouth of Peter, Bible said they said their hearts were pricked and they began to say, "Men." and bed them what shall we do it's like you are you get into an avenue and your device begin to catch some frequency but you know to flow in that frequency you need a password and peter begin to dish out the password and the password is, is just repent and accept jesus and so shall it be that the power of god will be so influential will be so influential that people will have either consciously or unconsciously align align with the move of the spirit in the name of jesus and there will be restoration there will be, be rejuvenation, there will be a rekindling, a rekindling of passion, a rekindling of zeal, a rekindling of focus in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' precious mighty name we are praying. I want to read from John, the book of John chapter 12, John chapter 12 verse, uh, verse 32. Christ Jesus said, And high, if I be lifted up from the head, I will draw all men unto me. We are we release our, our, our flyers. We have uh, invited people on phone. We have sent. We have talked to people, uh, and we have want to pray. Oh Lord, we have lifted you high. Honor your word. Bring these people by yourself. Bring them by your power. All that have received our handbills, all that have received the invitation, let your spirit remind them. Let your spirit bring them in the name of Jesus. Now that place will be filled, and there will be another revival, as we normally hear of the revival of Azusa Street. Oh, there will be a repetition, and even more of that, of a greater magnitude, a greater magnitude, even than that of revival of Azusa. And people will say, oh, revival of 4915, Sergeant Road, ah, Bible Church, it will be a revival with re that is remarkable that people will remember to live. They will, they, will, they will live to remember in the name of Jesus that this revival will be unique, will be very, very unique in the name of Jesus. Pour down your spirit, release your power, let the people come in their numbers in the name of Jesus. Honor your word, O oh Lord. You say, and high, if I be lifted up, you will draw all men. We are lifting you up. We are lifting up your name. Honor your word, O oh God. You have magnified your word above your name. And this is your promise. You say, and and you, if you be lifted up, he said, you will draw all men to your side. We are lifting you up. We are lifting you up to this revival program. Oh God, draw men to your side. Draw men to your side. Draw men into your kingdom. Draw men into your will. Draw men into your kingdom beatings in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. We want to pray for the ministers. The ministers that be ministering, of course, some of them, uh, some, of, some of us are familiar with them, but we want to pray that God will envelop them with power from on high. Bible say in Psalm 104, verse 4, that who make it is in their spirits and his ministers a flaming fire, a flaming fire, fire to porch, fire to purify, fire to burn off the chaff and the dross of base desires. Fire to break the shackles of sin. Fire to break the bondage things that are holding people at ransom. Fire to break yoke that God will make envelope a servant. Uh, regional verse here, Pastor, uh, Pastor uh, Dada, Michael Dada, and every other associating pastor that will be, uh, that, that, that will be, uh, that will be assisting him. Uh, every pastor that will be officiating one capacity or the other at uh, this revival program, God will make them flaming fire in the name of Jesus. The word of God that will comfort out of their mouth will be like fire that will penetrate into the heart of men. Push them from their sin, purify their soul, burn off the shackle of the enemy that is holding them down, burn off and break the chains, the chain that the enemy has used to be to, re, to, re, to, re, to remote control people, that that remote control connection will be broken by the fire that will be proceeding out of the mouth of the servant of God in the name of Jesus. This is your word, O oh God. You make it your angel spirit and you make it your minister's flaming fire. So
Honor your word, O oh God. Honor your word in the life of our ministers. In the name of Jesus. At this revival program, let there be salvation. At this revival program, let there be restoration for backsliders. At this revival program, let there be liberation for your prayers. At this revival program, let there be freedom from, for, 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 the, for the those that are under one bondage or the other. At this revival program, let there be a rekindling of your thoughts, of, 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 your, of the kingdom seal in the life of everyone. In the name of Jesus, let there be edification for all. In the name of Jesus, prove yourself strong. Let your name alone be exalted. Glorify yourself, O oh Lord. And at the end of this revival program, let there be massive testimony of your visitation in the name of Jesus. And everyone will have a, an encounter, an encounter with you. So shall it be in Jesus' name we pray. All over the world, the Spirit is moving. All over the world, as the prophet said it will be. All over the world, like a mighty revelation of the glory of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. And so shall it be, we shall receive divine visitation, and the power of God will move mightily in our midst, in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's bring thank God for what he has done and for what he is going to do this weekend as we invite our resident pastor uh, to this wrap up uh, and of the prayer for us. Sir. Thank you so much, Pastor. Yes. Let's begin to bless the name of the Lord. Let's begin to worship the name of the Lord. Let's begin to adore his holy name for what he's going to do as we wait on our resident pastor to wrap up the prayer. And I will take care of Father. It shall be permanent. Amen. It shall be permanent what the Lord will do in our lives. It shall be permanent, permanent. It shall be permanent, permanent. It shall be permanent what the Lord will do in our lives. It shall be permanent. Permanent. It shall be permanent. Amen. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord will do, we are and it shall be permanent. We can sing it this way. What the Lord will do in my life, personalized first to my life. What the Lord will do in our church, and what the Lord will do in our land. Three, we're going to start in my life. It shall be permanent. Amen. I'll be permanent. What oh, the Lord will do in my life, it shall be permanent. Permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord will do in my life, it shall be permanent in our church. It shall be permanent. It will be permanent. For the Lord we do in our church. It shall be permanent in our land. It shall be permanent in our land. It shall be permanent. What the Lord will do in our land, in our land, it shall be permanent. This is our declaration of God. This is our heart cry. This is our prayer. This is our the expectations of our hearts. This is the focus of our unity and prayers, that it will be permanent, meaning it shall be done. But after it's done, it will be permanent. It will be evident. All eyes will see it. Amen. Lord, our land will experience it. Amen. What you will do. 
You said, behold, you do a new thing. It wasn't just a rhetorical verse, a rhetorical promise. It is for those that tap into it in their generation. It's for those that tap, it, tap into it for their time, for themselves, that see that new thing. Meaning, oh God, if it takes you shaking the heavens, if it shakes you uprooting the foundations of wickedness, if it takes you, God, running out the host of darkness in Egypt so that that new thing can be, you would do it. And this evening, oh God, we are asking you, Father, that you come and do what you said you will do. Amen. Amen. Lord, you're the same God yesterday, today, and forever. We see not our signs. It does not mean that you have changed. Mm -hmm. That we don't see, oh God, evidence of the abundant life we talk about does not mean you have changed. That, Lord God, we do not see the evidences, the showers, and the rainfall of supernatural healing does not mean you have changed. It is just that, Lord, we've been so far away from you. But right now, Father, this weekend, oh God, draw us closer to you, closer Amen. to you, closer to you, Amen. closer to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, you said upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. Where is the deliverance? We are asking. But we know the deliverance is in you, oh God. That God has given you a name that's above every other name. That the mention of your name, every knee bows. So God, this weekend, bring it to pass that every territorial force, every territorial power, the powers that hold the key to the city, hold the key to the prison places, hold the keys, oh God, the keys that have kept the people captive in darkness, and not releasing them to come out of their darkness and come out from, from captivity. We say that, Father, this weekend we declare that, Lord, the igniting power of your spirit will knock every prison door down in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are trusting this weekend, oh God, that the standard you will lift up as standard a standard that would dislodge the network of Satan, the strongholds of Satan, the standard that would dislodge the Prince of Persia assigned to Washington, D.C., the witchcraft and the, and the occultic powers assigned to Washington, D.C. Lord, the standard that will uproot them, set them against themselves, set them in commotion, and thought that the people, the people, People that you've died for be released. We ask that that standard will be, re will be raised this weekend. It Amen. shall be a standard of holiness, a Amen. standard of righteousness, Amen. certainly a standard of salvation Amen. that people will be asking, where is their God? Amen. Oh, Father, the follow-up team are walking. The outreach team are walking. The choristers are walking. The ushers are walking. Oh, Lord, the sanitation, the welfare, and everyone, the children, the youth, may our walk not go down the drain without result in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Confirm your word this weekend. Amen. You said in the last days you pour out your spirit upon our flesh. It includes, oh God, those that are yet to be saved, who will be saved. We as a Father, Lord God, there will be a multiplier effect this weekend. Amen. A multiplier effect of salvation. Amen. A multiplier effect of your word in every life. Amen. A multiplier effect of supernatural uh, demonstration of the Holy Spirit in the lives of people in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. We know that the, your, your word tells us that the weapons of our warfare are not kind of The mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And so, Father, this weekend, we are asking that every plan of Satan to bring distractions, to cause distractions, things that would distract people from this event, people that we've invited from this event, we're praying against every distraction, every distraction in the land, every distraction in the DMV area, we pray against them. We say there shall be peace 
this weekend in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. We say there will be stability this weekend in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. We speak to the weather. We speak to men. We speak to creation. We speak to those in authority. We speak to the law enforcement agent. We speak even those who always seek for events like this to come and rob people, to come and rob vehicles. We declare them, oh God, candidates for salvation this weekend in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And within the four walls of the church, the circumference surrounding the church, the Holy Ghost fire will be evident in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. The neighborhoods, oh God. Amen. We're asking that, Lord, you open their eyes. Amen. Open their eyes when Amen. Jesus is born. The wise men, they called them the wise men because they sought to see Jesus <laughs> from where different quarters, geographical locations. We know, Father, that it takes your spirit to draw men, to draw men, to draw men to yourselves. You say, if you be lifted up, you will draw all men to yourselves. Yeah. This weekend, oh God, we say, we ask that no man will be seen. Yes, the region of us is preparing, the guest ministers are preparing. Pastors are preparing. Everyone is preparing. But we are asking that no one, no human being will be seen this weekend. But Lord, you, you will embody your servants, embody your ministers, and glorify yourself, oh God, in this, Lord, the church, in, on 4915, 4915 Sergeant Road, in the name of, of Jesus Christ. Amen. I've been in the university environment. With little or no advertisement. Students are trooping. Clubhouses, strip clubs, vehicles are lining up to carry them to, 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 to death, to carry them to spiritual death, to carry them to where they lose their, their senses. And with little or no ease, that is how hell enlarges its mouth, has enlarged its mouth, with little or no ease to accommodate people. This weekend we declare. We close the gates of hell. We Amen. close the gates of death. We Amen. close the, the, the gates. Every gate to distract the people. We shut them out. We shut them off. We Amen. say the all roads will lead. Like John the Baptist was in the wilderness. And everyone was stripping to go Amen. see what was Amen. going on. We say Amen. today, oh, Amen. this weekend, within Amen. the four walls, the four corners, north, south, east, and west of DMV, let the light, the glory of the Lord rest over the venue of this event. Amen. So that we will be trooping. Trooping, Amen. trooping, Amen. invited Amen. or not invited, trooping, Amen. trooping, trooping, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are not seeking for our own glory. We are not seeking to be in the news. We are not seeking to, to be recognized. We are only asking the Lord glorify yourself, O oh God, in this event. Receive the glory. Glorify Amen. yourself. John Amen. the Baptist said, I may decrease that he may increase. We are asking, we're not seeking to promote deeper life Bible church. Father, this weekend, we are asking, increase, increase, Amen. increase, Amen. increase Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Be lifted high, be lifted up. That Amen. Lord, as the people step in, May they see nothing but Jesus. Amen. They will say, Jesus, oh God, your name be glorified in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Have your way, oh God. We cover Amen. ourselves in the blood of Jesus. Of we Jesus. cover the sanctuary with the blood of Jesus. Blood we of cover Jesus. the neighborhood with the blood of Jesus. Blood we cover Jesus. the law enforcement agents with the blood of Jesus. The we blood cover our children with the blood of Jesus. We cover every man, every woman in the blood of Jesus because we know we are entering battle zone, battle zone, battle zone, warfare zone. In every generation comes a time when the horizon will need to be expanded. Oh God, territories will need to be conquered. We pray that this weekend enlarge our coast. Amen. Cause our coast to be enlarged. Amen. 
the course of the forgeance of the gospel in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for everyone that has made our time to pray. Everyone that has loved made the sacrifice. Just like Jesus was saying to the disciples that they couldn't wait for an hour. We waited for an hour, Lord. We met the test. We waited for an hour. Just to seek for your will. Thy kingdom come. For thy will to be done on earth. Nothing more. Nothing different. Father, let your will be done. In the life of your children. In the name of Christ. Set to your own children. Amen. Or make them beneficiaries of Lord of your grace during this event as well. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers. To you be glory and honor and adoration. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, we hope we're coming to one of us one more time. Uh, prayers will be permanent in Jesus' name. I know we've shared the grace, so let's endeavor to keep our blessings. Have a wonderful night, Trace. God bless.